Hi, I'm Brian Van Batavia. I'm the president of Xtro Vehicle Systems. I'm gonna tell you a little bit today about the electric Xtro Humvee. It was one of the bigger projects we did in the past year. It was a really great project. We made a really awesome vehicle. One of the first things we had to do in the project actually was to remove the engine and transmission, the fuel lines, the fuel tank, some of the things you don't need in an electric vehicle. After we removed that, it was kind of a bare vehicle. We did all the painting, uh, did some little bit of modification so we could fit the battery packs in the vehicle. The battery packs are mounted actually in the passenger cabin. We wanted to keep them kind of away from the bottom of the vehicle so we could keep the major parts of the driveline intact, keep the base standard driveline. And actually there's a lot of room in this vehicle in the cabin so it made a nice easy spot for us to put the battery. So the battery is right in the middle of the cabin all the way down the tunnel, all the way from the firewall to the tailgate and uh, makes a good spot. It's actually a 800 volt battery made from two 400 volt batteries put in series. It's 80 kilowatt hours ish uh, capacity and uh, it's plenty for what we need for this vehicle. Putting the battery pack in the middle of the passenger cabin on this vehicle was the perfect spot because the Humvee is actually designed to be super wide and there's a lot of space in there for all kinds of cargo or for ammunition or whatever you got your mission to do. Once we have the battery, then actually we can start to look at the star of the show that's under the hood. Uh, under the hood, we have battery voltage from the battery flows into the traction inverter actually under the hood. On its way there, it goes through the junction box. There's a power distribution unit that we designed, has some custom fuses in it so that all the circuits are protected nicely. From the battery to the power distribution unit, finally you get to the traction inverter. This is the heavy duty extra traction inverter. It's designed actually for a class eight truck. So it's got plenty of power and torque for this vehicle. It's actually way overkill for this vehicle. It's got roughly 4,000 Newton meters of torque, about 900 kilowatts of electrical power. It's way more than enough for this vehicle. We can actually hurt this vehicle. We've broken it before, broken some axles, broken an A-arm. Uh, so we have some software limits in place to make sure everything stays together. The traction inverter actually drives the electric motor, which is placed right where the engine would normally be. We got all of our power leads down to the motor and the motor is actually connected with a short prop shaft to the transfer case in the vehicle. It's the standard position of the transfer case, uh, but we actually replace the baseline or the standard transfer case with an aftermarket one. The base vet transfer case had two, two ratios, had a high gear and a low gear. We don't need the low gear ratio with all the torque we have with this electric machine. So we took that out, put in a transfer case that only has one ratio, but it does have ability to disconnect the front wheels so we can drive around in two wheel drive when we don't need four wheel drive. Transfer case splits the torque in half, actually puts it to the front axle and the rear axle. From there, it's a standard setup. You have your inboard brakes, your differential, and the little prop shafts to the wheels. And the all Humvees have these two to one gear ratios actually in the wheel hubs. All that standard, just like the vehicle came, was built. All right. Once we get inside, actually I can show you some of the controls of the vehicle. These are a little bit custom. Standard vehicle had a big lever. We can shift between forward, neutral, and reverse. We didn't need that. So we put in the push button shift selector here. That actually connects to our custom software in the vehicle control unit over on the passenger side. We also added some custom gauges. They look an awful lot like standard gauges, but they're all custom. We have our standard vehicle speed display. But this gauge here actually shows the power going in and out of the battery. So it's a little bit custom for an electric vehicle. Some of our small gauges down here are just to look at the health of our other systems. We have a 12 volt gauge for the health of the low voltage system. We actually have the state of charge meter for the battery pack. So we know how much charge we have in our battery, know when we have to recharge. Got some temperature gauges so we can see the health of the other parts and pieces, make sure nothing's getting too hot. We have our standard actually cable actuated emergency brake. Wanted to keep that the same, kind of keep it low tech, just in case some fault were to happen, then we actually always kind of have the ability to brake the vehicle manually. All right, we walk around the vehicle over to the passenger side here, just show you the, the charge port of the vehicle. We actually replaced the diesel filler port with the electric charge port. It's actually a standard SAE combo port. We have our AC charge plugs and our DC charge plug, and it talks J1772 standard, just like any production EV would. Got a little status indicator here so we know if the vehicle's charging or done charging, what's going on. A little bit further up in the passenger side of the vehicle, actually kind of tucked up under the dash is the vehicle control unit. The vehicle control unit actually is connected to all the parts of the powertrain, to the gauges, to the user interface, to some of the user inputs over there. It's actually the brains of the vehicle. It's managing everything. It's managing the torque going to the wheels. It's managing the charging. 
It's actually even managing some of the lights and some of the fault indicators that we have on the vehicle. So all the custom software going on in here and all the custom wiring we did, actually complete control of the powertrain and interfaces perfectly with the XO coil driver inverter. Here we have the XO electric vehicle powertrain kit. The kit starts actually with the vehicle control unit. We have some custom software in here to coordinate all the torque delivery, all the charging functions, everything else. Uh, power wise, actually the power comes from the battery, which is not part of the kit. We connect to the power distribution unit. Power distribution unit gives the DC power to the traction inverter. This is the XRO coil driver L40 800 volt inverter. Uh, it's the star of the show, does all the hard work, does all the commutation and the torque and speed of the motor, does the charging function as well on the vehicle. And uh, it's output actually, some AC power leads that go to the motor. Obviously it's not connected right now, but the motor would connect to the inverter. That makes all the magic happen. All the kit components are actually sold to end, end users like shops who are doing the hard work of the integration of the vehicle, the mechanical integration. But we've done the engineering to make sure that all the parts work together. We've done the control software to make sure that all the parts are used, that they're optimum efficiency, and that they're all monitored for safety.